three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Well, I'm here with Andrew. <laughs> and today, we're going to talk about making you alive. Hey guys, welcome to our new show, Budget Gun Breakdown, where we run out to the used gun rack and we pull out all the lost, abandoned, and traded forgotten. lonely budget guns that have been forgotten to the times, and we bring them out here to tell you if they're worth a damn. We're not going to be nice to them, we're going to be extremely judgmental, we're only going to shoot the cheapest ammo we can find through them, and we're going to see what we can and what we can do with what we have. To see if they deserve to be abandoned forever, or maybe if they are worth a second look to somebody else out there. So the other thing to go along with this too is we take a lot of time to shoot a lot of higher end guns. We've done staccatos, we've done GARs and some other things, but that may not be in everybody's budget. And there are plenty of guns that are out there that are a budget friendly gun, like the sub $200, sub $300 guns, that may actually be worthy of carrying to defend yourself with, to protect yourself with. So throughout this series, you're gonna see we're going to go through some of the most popular stuff, some of the stuff we see a lot come in on trade, especially people who want to upgrade their stuff, yep. and uh, go through and tell you whether we would trust our lives with it or not. And the moral of the story of this is sometimes it's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. Sure. And something's better than nothing. Something, uh, the, the most effective gun for the situation is the one you actually have. Yes. <laughs> if it's a high point, so be it. If it functions and goes off for you, great. But we're gonna put these things through their tests, and today we have one of the most popular trading guns that we get here at Buckeye Shooting Center all the time, the SCTY. So nine millimeter gun, comes with two 10 round mags, made in Florida, lifetime warranty, and this one specifically came in from a local police lot from Evidence. Sure. So some <laughs> used this at some point to do something with, and it became Evidence, and now it's ours. So we're gonna shoot the shit out of it, see how it goes. So like Zach was saying, we have a CPX-2, so a slightly newer generation of the SCCY. We have uh, two of our three white dot sights up here. We have a couple magazines, which is really nice. Some finger grooves. Everything seems to work perfectly fine. And we're gonna sit here, try to do some drills with it real quick, see if we can get some good groups, see if we can do some basic defensive stuff and uh, see if it's taken out to the range and having fun with it. Uh, we've got a couple mags of five loaded up. These mags do hold, I think, 12. Uh, but we're going to do a little bit of play with them. They hold 10, I'm corrected. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of hammer pairs with a, with a reload tossed in there kind of randomly, and we're going to see how it goes. Fed the round pretty nice. No safety on this gun, of course. Let's try it out. Okay, a little snappy, but that's pretty normal for these tiny little carry guns. Not bad. Locked back on both of our magazines, cycled all the rounds. Now, that spring didn't quite have enough power to fully close the slide that could just be the steel case ammo but hey that's why we brought it we wanted to see what would happen if we shot the absolute cheapest ammo we could through this but under normal firing it cycled everything so let's go ahead and load up some more ammo and let's get a couple more drills in and see how she does all right we do get quite a bit of snappiness which i'm actually starting to realize that these uh, pretty aggressive finger grooves uh, they actually really do serve a purpose with these SCCYs because this gun really wants to rise up on me and uh, that's really helping me keep good control of it. So we did some hammer pairs. Let's go ahead and try some failure to stop. So let's, we're going to get those two shots really quick, slow it down and see if we can actually get a headshot. Ooh, okay. Let's get another one. Not bad, one more. 
Alright, we have one round left. Let's go just for the headshot. Whew. I'm, I'm trending a little high and to the left, which is pretty unusual for me as a shooter, but I've also never shot an SCCY before, but as far as functionality, this gun's running really well and it's handling just about everything we're throwing at it. And I didn't have the, uh, the slide lock or the slide dropping issue on the reload that time either. Maybe she's getting warmed up. All right, if you're gonna carry your pistol for defensive purposes, you really have to be able to shoot fast with it. So we have a couple mags of six loaded up this time. We're gonna try out some build drills. Hopefully I don't shoot the camera we have downrange looking at the target because then this would be the most expensive budget gun breakdown we will have ever filmed. Probably the last budget gun breakdown we will have ever filmed. So let's try it out. All right, six rounds in the chest as fast as I can. Not bad, the gun felt very controllable. I'm gonna be completely honest, most of the time I pick up an SCCY, I feel like it's, it's unnecessarily fat in my hand, it, all, it feels weird. But when you really bear down on it and you shoot it quickly, that fatness, it helps, it really does help. Even though it's a tiny gun, I have very large hands and that extra grip really helps me keep control of the pistol. Uh-oh. All right, a little bit of user error there. I accidentally slid off the base plate for the match. All right, six rounds in the chest as fast as we can. She's running great. Let's go down range. Let's check out our accuracy and be a little bit more critical of the old girl. We have really good accuracy in our chest shots, kind of all kind of focus center mass. Ah really well in the center, which at 20 feet, I, I would like to see it a little bit more center focused. Our headshots are absolutely terrible, but we're rushing a little bit and we are missing one of our sights. So I think for the circumstances, it's pretty good. All right, so overall, we ran all of our usual defensive drills. We put her through her paces. We uh, saw what it was like. What do we think about it? Um, honestly, if I was gonna put this on a scale of one to 10, we have to remember that this gun only costs $200. So, man, I mean, I like the long, heavy double action trigger. For it's, what this is. For what this is. It's a nice, smooth trigger all the way through with a very consistent feel. Obviously, I'm not gonna be winning any competitions with it, but for a defensive gun, I was still able to make very good, very consistent hits with it. Man, I'm gonna give it a seven. It, especially because, like I said, it's, it's like a $200 gun. It ran the steel case. The mags work absolutely great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it an eight. An and eight. here's why. I have a little bit more experience with one of these. I've had one for years that just sits inside of a, a tractor at home. as like a snake gun or something like that that pops up. And the reason I'll give it an eight is one factor we didn't talk about yet is the lifetime warranty these have. So, made in Florida, if you do have them, I've worked with their customer service department, being on the other side of the counter before and now, and their customer service is fantastic. So, if there's ever a problem with them, they've taken care of customers time and time again with even little things like lights wear out, lights wear out. They take care of people, so I'm giving it an extra point because of the customer service department at SCCY. That's a good point, especially because when you start looking into really like budget oriented guns, a lot of these guns are imported, mm -hmm. they're not American made. And a big common trend you see with a lot of imported firearms is terrible customer service. So this gun being American made down in Florida, I, I trust you're gonna be able to get a hold of someone, you're gonna be able to get support if you ever do have a problem with it, and you're gonna be able to get whatever guns i've never seen somebody need to have one replaced um so hey maybe next time you're looking for a cool budget handgun check out SCCY.